Okay, welcome back. <laughs> this is your conductor engineer, Roy, from Cranberry Valley Railroad. Uh, we made a video, and uh, it was about these lights. So this is going to be number two, uh, making lights inside your trailer for the ground effects look. Uh, like I say, you know, I'm just learning how to do this. Uh, my family says I should teach everybody, you know, how to do the stuff I know how to do uh, because they like it so much. We're going to see what's going to happen. Okay, so back to the lesson at hand. We left off with uh, putting these lights on the uh, little holes, you know, and our hot glue gun is ready now. So here we go. First of all, we're going to make sure that we run, I stripped the wires, by the way. Uh, I stripped them. See, uh, we're gonna. I bent these wires a little bit right here. You can see I bent them so they're not straight. And the first one, we're just going to put a little glue, a little hot glue, right around the hole. Like so. That's it. And we're going to stick this light right on here and voila. And make sure that that, that light is there. And it's not in the way of the screw that's going to go here. Got to be careful. We got to wait for that to dry. I don't need letting it go early. Then we have to sit here and do it all over again, right? There's one. That's what it looks like, you see? All right, we're going to do the other two. We'll be right back. All right, we got the three wires glued to the trailer. This one down here is still drying. It's not quite dry. You'll know it's, it's dry when it has that haze to it. Depending on what hot glue you use. So as soon as it dries. Uh, we'll go to the next step. You gotta watch all that nasty string too. I hate those strings. Alright, so we got the three wires. The lights wired. What are we going to do next? Guess what? We got to find a place that we're going to put them at. They got to come out the bottom. And uh, there's no way of hiding them except for black paint. So here we are. We got the three wires like that. Here's what it looks like under the bottom. I got to clean that off a little bit. But that's what it looks like. One, one light there, see it? And one there. And one there. Alright. So, while uh, you're waiting, I'm going to be going. I'll be back. I got to bunch these wires together and figure out how I want to put them through the trailer. Because they have to go through the trailer. So... Let's see. I guess I can do it while I'm here. So that's going to be one right there. And that would be two. And this is three. So basically, that's how they're going to go through the trailer. But they're going to go through this way. So, um... I'm thinking they're going to look best if they're back here by the by the wheels. So, you got an idea what I'm going to do? I'll be back. I'm going to I'm going to probably drill a hole through here and pull those wires through and then I'll show you how we'll put it back together. And then we can have some lights. All right, so this is where I'm going to put this I'm going to I'm going to have the wires come out here. So I'm going to drill right here. All 
Uh, all right. Okay, so we've got that done. Let's see if all these wires are going to fit through this hole. That's one set. Yep, that looks good. Might have to drill a bigger hole. I'm not sure. We'll find out. I hope they all fit. I'll put this set through there. All right. And pull them through. And try to remember that screw hole there. All right, I think we're going to make it. So we'll put one through here. I think we got enough room. And we're going to pull these up so that we can squeeze another one right through here. Let's see. I think it's going to make it. Let's see. Come on, are you going to make it? Come on. Go through there. Let's see. All right. Maybe go down this side. Come on. Go through that hole. All right, that's what we got. They all came through. That's good. I see a little bit of stuff here I want to get that off I don't I'm a sticker for that kind of crap get this off not that nobody's just going to sit there and pick them up and look at them because once I'm done and I stick it on a layout which I'm going to show you uh nobody's going to pick it up because the wires are going to hold it to the layout all right that's good I hate trash. Okay. There we go. All right. Here we go. This should be dry. It's not dry. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little wet. But, ain't that bad. All right. Here we go. We're going to see if it fits. Hey, look at that. Kind of fits. Let's see what we got a problem here. Oh, it fit. Look at that. Look at that. So we got a little problem right here. Remember what I told you? All right, so we're going to bend this down a little bit. That's going to be good. See, they're bent. See the wires? They're bent. They're bent. And that's okay. Hope you're light, right? <laughs> okay, so we put that in. I heard that, but I'm still not happy with that. Because this one fits a little bit different than that one. That one doesn't fit quite like I want it to. Why not? Let me see. Now let's do it this way. Maybe if we put a wire on each side and bend it down. Okay, that should that should do it. Okay, that's good. Ah, whew. All right, I got the uh, two screws up here somewhere where this, this is here, this is here. These are the two screws. So right now, we're going to put the two screws in. This screw goes right in this hole, like that. That's good. And the other holes right here. I'm gonna put this screw in. It fell right in. 
And I'm going to screw it. All right. Look at that. That looks good. That looks good. I don't like this part sticking up. I don't know why it's sticking up. But, uh, whatever. I don't think it's going to be a deal breaker. All right, so there's your trailer with your wires. All right. Uh... I think I'm good enough that I'm going to put the wheels on and the landing gear. Yeah, that be the other video I didn't remember what to say. Sometimes I forget what to say. Okay, so I'm going to put the landing gear on and uh, get this thread off. And I'm going to put the back wheels on. Now, I don't know if you can see, but right through here, I can see it. There's a little piece of wire right there, so I don't think that's going to matter. I'll be back after I put this stuff on. I figure I better show you how to uh, do, do this. Make sure that you uh, check your wheels. Make sure that the rims are like they should be. Sometimes that that little bit of stuff shows right there. Where am I? Oh, here I am. Here I am. It's like the little kids show. Here I am. Okay, so I'm gonna put that on. This, now, it, you have to pay attention. One end of this is smaller than the other. This is smaller than this end. This end is bigger. Let me adjust this camera a little bit. Hope it doesn't mess up. Okay, that's good. All right, so this is the small piece. This is the big piece. So I'm going to put the big piece on first right here and a small piece and I'm gonna take my fingers and I'm gonna snap them and that's it look it rolls yay all right I'm gonna hook up the wires and I'll be right back all right we're back anybody notice anything <laughs> we got two lights not three right but look how they look how nice they look, right? That's the ground effects. It's a little hard to see the blue. Now look, something I didn't realize. Uh, I realize it now. The um, the part that holds the wheels on right here. I gotta still drill out another hole on that. So I'll drill out a hole on that. And I'll be right back. I didn't know that because this is my first time, right? So let me do, drill that hole out. Bingo. We got all three lights. Wow. Okay. There you go. All three lights. That's how you do it. That's the uh, ground effects trailer lights. Now, I'll be right back. I want to show you something. There you go. Got all <laughs> the tractor and trailer is lit up. Of course, this is not nighttime, but uh, and the wires will be hidden. What I have, let me see if I can get a little darkness here, a little, little bit, a little darkness. Well, anyway, you see, there's one, two, three, four, five lights, and uh, tell your friends to watch. Cranberry Valley Railroad, and my name is Roy Williams Bay, so either way you can find it. Uh, I'm new at this, and I'm trying to teach people what I love. If you love it, please like and subscribe, and tell your friends to like and subscribe. You're going to see some nice things, I think, because my family and friends are the ones that have encouraged me to produce videos of my hobby thank you very much god bless you and uh visit again bye